Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to show you a brand new accessory for your Mavic 2 Quad that'll provide a little extra clearance between the bottom of the quad and the ground to help protect your sensitive camera and gimbal assembly. Now I love the Mavic 2 Quad, I've been flying it every day since it came out and I flew the Mavic Pro before that. It's the perfect combination of size and technology to allow you to take it pretty much anywhere with you and capture some beautiful photos and videos up there in the air. But one of my concerns about it back when I bought the Mavic Pro and now with the Mavic 2 is because of its compact size, it doesn't provide a lot of clearance between the bottom of the quad and the ground. And the concern there is that if I land this in any kind of grass or on soft dirt, it's going to sink down far enough where that surface is going to come in contact with the bottom of the quad and probably the gimbal and the camera assembly. And if you're landing on grass that has any kind of moisture, all that moisture is going to get transferred to the quad and the dirt's going to get transferred, then you're going to have issues with the gimbal over time and you're certainly going to have trouble with the sensors. You're going to have to clean those off. So ever since the Mavic Pro came out, I was on the hunt for a clearance kit that would give me a little extra height and I found those and I recommended those and did a couple clips on them. The Mavic 2 is a pretty new quad, so there have been companies working on these accessories for the last couple of weeks. I actually went out and bought five of them like I always do. I've been flying with them over the last couple of weeks to find the very best set that I could, and that's the set I'm showing you here. Now, I'll explain some of the advantages of that first, then I'll show you why I chose those and how it attaches to the quad. So what you're looking at here, just to give you a comparison, is the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. So that's what it looks like standard. That's what it looks like with the lift kit on it. So you can see right away that you've got a ton of clearance underneath that quad where you could land this in pretty tall grass and not have to worry about it. So here's the kit that we went with and part of the reason I picked this kit, uh, there's a couple of reasons. Number one is that most of the kits out there don't do anything to increase the stability of the quad when it lands. Most of the kits are just really extensions of the front legs. And if you look closely at those front legs, they're not coming straight down. They're coming out, they're coming down sort of pointing in. So you can imagine if I extend those even further, now I've got a really, really unstable quad when it lands. The other challenge is some of those came to a point at the end. And if it comes to a point, it may make sense that, okay, that's great, it's going to stick to the ground. The problem is those pointy ends sink down even further in the dirt and don't give you the clearance you want. So I like that this kit actually toes out from the front which increases the stability of the quad when it's landing. So it's actually a more stable quad with these feet on it than it would be naturally. The other thing is some of the kits, not all of them, but some of them, really didn't hold on to the quad very well, or if they held on to the quad, you pushed them on so hard that you were scratching the quad when you put it on, you'd see little streaks on the legs. And I don't like damaging the quad by using an accessory. Uh, what you'll find with these is the front of these cups are lined with rubber on the inside, so they adhere to the feet really well. They're not coming off during flight. They're also not going to scratch the feet when you put them on. One of the other sets was so loose on the quad that when I put it up, I flew it a little bit, I came back, there was a foot missing on the front, I fell off somewhere in the field. So that's even a worse situation because now you've got three that are high and one that isn't, and it's going to tip over and cause damage to the quad. Also the back attachments are, are doubly clipped on there. There's a really robust clip on the top and there's two supports on either side of it. Um, the last thing I'll talk about is sort of the landing. A lot of the ones that I've, I tested came with hard plastic on the bottom. This has a nice little rubber pad on the bottom. They actually liken it to a cat's paw, like that little soft part of a cat's paw. And I know that seems like a, a minor detail, but if you think about it, that's a tiny little shock absorber. So when this thing comes down on even the softest of landings, it's gonna come down fairly hard. And that little rubber on the bottom is not only gonna make sure that it stays where it landed, but it's gonna absorb a little bit of that sort of shock of the inertia of that weight coming down on the ground. So all those things being equal were the reasons we picked this particular kit. I also like the fact that it matches the color of the quad. Some of the other kits were red and blue and orange and lime and I don't I don't really like uh, accessories that make my quad look goofy. So this fits perfectly. Now to add the quad to it, before I take them off I'll show you how to put them back on. There is a personality to those two accessories. So on this side is the A group and this side is the B group and there's a little label on each of those. But the way I typically assemble these onto the quad is I'll flip it over like this and then I'll put them on one at a time. Now again, inside here is a nice little rubber cup, so when you slide this on, you can feel it slide all the way down till it hits the bottom of that cup, and it's not going anywhere. The back ones clip around the leg, so there's a, a tab right here that you release them with, and to put them back on, you just slide them over the leg, and there's two points of contact here in the clip to hold it on the top, and that's pretty much it. So once they're on there, you can fly and you're good to go. I also like the fact that if I'm landing on uneven ground and there's rocks around it, this will find a nice little place to land and it'll sort of nestle down in among the rocks. Now one thing I did know 
notice with both the Mavic Pro and the Zoom, but mostly on the Pro, was that because of the extra weight of this, I always fly with a landing mat, um, because of the extra weight of this, it pushed down into the landing mat if I'm sitting on grass like I am behind me, and that actual power on self-test where it's moving the gimbal around when it first powers up, it would actually scrape the mat. It actually sank down far enough where it scraped the mat. So even if you use a landing mat, I would suggest using these guys because a lot of times you're gonna come back to the landing mat, but if it gets windy or something comes up and you've gotta find a, an alternate place to land, having a lift kit on it like this means I can land in this grass without any worries at all. I'm not gonna come down and get all that dirt and debris on the bottom of my quad. So that's pretty much it. Um, I like these a lot. We've got them available on the website. If you wanna support the channel, you can hit the link below and buy them from us. Again, you can find them all over the internet, but be careful when you're searching out there because again, I bought five of them. There's probably another five kits that I didn't test. I can't really you know, tell you how well those kits work. This one works. I use it every time I fly and it's one that I recommend to my friends. So if you're looking for a decent clearance kit, it's a couple of bucks. I think it's 10 or 12 bucks for the kit. It's not terribly expensive, but the protection it provides for this sensitive camera and gimbal assembly, which is really the most sensitive part of the quad that's exposed to the exterior, uh, is invaluable. So getting it up off the ground gives you that peace of mind you're not gonna damage your camera. So that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions about anything I've talked about, drop them in the comments below. I have these in stock. We ship them out the same day, typically two days anywhere in the US. Uh, free shipping on all the products we sell as well. You guys know that if you've used the website before, but um, you know, let me know if you have questions. And uh, thanks an awful lot for watching. I love putting these kind of clips together and why find something that I use like this I want to make sure that you guys know about it. So that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, happy flying.